Can't lie to you, I've been putting off this question for a long time. Archimedes vibes. Because I actually could not be bothered to draw the picture. <laughs> so, you know, I kind of got the picture here that somebody sent to me. Um, so we've got a hexagon, we've got a circle, and a hexagon inside, all right? So, yeah, it's, uh, it's not looking good, but they've just said that we have a regular hexagon, we've got a circle, O, inscribed, um, where these lines here are tangents to the circle, um, and we've got a different uh, hexagon inside the circle, where these vertices all touch the circumference. And it's just saying show that this is the case. Now what's interesting about this is I actually do do this with my year sevens, believe it or not. I do do this with my year sevens. How do I do it with my year sevens and my year, my key stage uh, two lot? Is we draw a square, we draw a circle, and then from there, we prove the range in which pi needs to lie. And that's what this is talking about. And what I do in my uh, key stage two lot is we break up this uh, circle into triangles and then we just work out the area of the square inside. Then we say the square, area of the, or the, sorry, the, um, what is it? The area of the circle has to be between the, these two squares. And then you can do a pentagon, you can do a hexagon, etc. And then that allows you to get closer and closer to that value of pi, okay? Now, this is something similar. Yeah, we're doing the exact same thing. This is what Archimedes did to find this approximation of pi. I'm gonna do my best to annotate the diagram to show you guys what's going on. So obviously we have our center of the circle and it has radius r, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out the area of the smaller hexagon and the area of the big hexagon and then um, say the area of the circle is in between, okay? Now the area of the circle is super easy. That's just pi r squared. At least we can cop some marks. Now, let's figure out what's going on with this hexagon, the smaller one. Now the small hexagon is not that bad to find. So it looks like this. Here's my center of the circle, bang. With all these questions, guys, just draw lines to the vertices, okay? Because the thing about a regular hexagon is it's just a bunch of isosceles triangles. But with a regular hexagon, it's actually even better. It's a bunch of equilateral triangles because you have six regions here, right? And you have 360. So each of these are 60 degrees with both of these being the same length. So it has to be an, isos uh, an equilateral triangle. So all these are the same, they all are. So we can easily work out what the area of it is by just doing half AB sine C and then just timesing it by six. So we're doing six lots of a half, AB, so R times R, sine of the angle 60 degrees. Now a half of six is three. So we have three R squared, three R squared, sine of 60 is root three over two. You guys need to remember that, okay? So my small hexagon is three root three over two R squared. So we're saying this has to be bigger than this, all right? And then we need to look at the bigger, um, the bigger hexagon. Now the big hex, let's see what's going on now. If I just draw, uh, try my best to draw the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like I've drawn that hexagon incorrectly. It should have been pointing down like this. But you guys get the gist in it of what's going on. Okay. But then remember, you have the circle inside. And that's going to be a key part to this question. That looks all right, doesn't it? Now, the thing about this is the key to this part is that they said that this was a tangent. So you should be thinking about one of our circle theorems being that tangent meets radius at 90 degrees. And I think looking at this one's actually nicer. So going to the radius here, we have R. All right. 
So how are we going to work out the area of this? Okay, so all I've done, just for comparison, I've done this. Okay. So we somehow need to find out the area of this big hexagon. And I guess I'm going to join this up. Because this is 90 degrees, isn't it? We have R. I need to somehow find uh, another length or something. But same concept, right? We have this 60 degrees. So this whole thing is 60 degrees, yeah? Because we're going to make up all these other uh, triangles inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've just split that up into two, okay? So if all of these angles are 60 degrees, this one I've split it up into 30 and 30. So I have, where should I do it here? I have R, I have 90, and I have 30 degrees. Now I split up that triangle into two, right? So basically I just want to work out this so I can do ha uh, half base times height. And that'll be one of these, I can then double it to get one of these, then times it by six, okay? So I just want to work out this length here. So that's the ops and that's the adj. So that's going to be tan. O A toa tan 30 is the opposite x over r. So times it by r. So we get x is times it by r. Tan 30 is root 3 over 3. So I get root 3 over 3 r. So my area of the mini triangle is a half times the base length of r times the height. So root 3 over 3 r squared. Yeah? r times this, r times r gives me r squared. So altogether, we have root 3 over 6 r squared. Root 3 over 6 r squared, yep. Now remember this is only this, that's only one tiny part. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. So the big hex is 12 times root 3 over 6 r squared. Okay, and uh, then we're basically there, aren't we? So we have the 6 goes into the 12 twice, so you get 2 root 3 r squared, okay? Um, and the, should have got 3. Wait, did I write this right? Is it 3 or? So it's 3 pi, etc. So we're seeing that the circle area is bigger than this, but smaller than this. But I got 2 root 3, but this I got something slightly different. What's happened? So I drew from here. <laughs> to be honest, guys, I can't see like I've actually done anything wrong. I feel like we're trying to show that this value is basically just bigger than three then, which makes sense, right? So I'm gonna say that this is the smaller one. So I'm saying three root three over two r squared is, that circle is bigger than that and um, less than, than the big hexagon, which is two root three r squared. Then when you divide through by r squared, we get that. And then we're left with 3 root 3 over 2 pi 2 root 3. But this is clearly bigger than, well, we have to, wait, do they want us to prove that that is bigger than 3? Maybe they do. Do they want us to prove that that is bigger than 3? I can't see why that would be the case. Right. I actually went and tried to find this question. I actually recorded this on the 18th of February, but someone posted this real question on the 6th of March. <laughs> and it, it took him, taken me uh, like 10, 15 minutes. Now the question actually said, by considering perimeters, from what I saw on TikTok. So the person that sent me this, they've somehow rewritten the question and they didn't say that. But I've done my own little question by considering the areas. Show that this is true. And I think this is just a much better question. So, I can't see any fault with my working. But on the perimeter, I wanted to find the area is in it. So guys, if you learned something today, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Probably share this video with one of your mates. This is how Archimedes really wanted to do his stuff. 
and um, yeah, subscribe for more content. If you want to join the Lung Gang Reddit page, link is in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Nice.